Please, give me a moment. I got here as fast as I could. I need time to collect myself. <sighs> yes, I'm fine now. The scouts, they've spotted something nefarious within the secluded valley. The new commander must be alerted, but I'm not myself right now. I'm out of breath. <sighs> Deep breaths. Mm. Oh, it's freezing. <sighs> All right, come. We must hold council immediately. Now that you've warmed up and caught your breath, do you want to tell us what's happening? It is you that might need to catch your breath. I bring alarming news. Our scouts in the secluded valley caught sight of something. An Alatreon. What? Alatreon? First time I'm hearing this name. What are we dealing with here? To be honest, I'm not sure. It's regarded as a symbol of destruction, and just uttering its name causes panic. No surprise. No records of Alatreon have survived. Alatreon, an elder known as the Blazing Black Dragon. What we know is what was witnessed in the place known as the Sacred Land. It's a monster that has complete control of the full force of nature. The full force of nature? You mean the elements? Being able to control all of the elements seems completely nuts. Do we have anything else to go on? Nothing. What? No other records? No, there really is nothing else. There were a few people who refused to accept that something like Alatreon could exist in the world. And they went and burned the few records we had of the monster. They burned them? Why would they do that? Who knows, but it happened a long time ago. But don't lose hope. It's not too late. We're the research commission. Just say the word and we'll get started on making new records. We owe it to the world to make it so. Let's get started as soon as we can. Roger, I'll prep a special assignment. Thanks. Hunter, take the quest and head out. Triple check your gear before you depart. If the legends are true, this symbol of destruction is going to put up a hell of a fight. Don't go in alone. Make sure you assemble a team. Our handlers and scholars will split up. We'll have a group out there providing support while the rest will be on standby at base. Those on standby will get started on recording all reports about the beast as soon as they come in. I think that should cover things. Fascinating. I wonder how that monster can control all of the elements. What makes that possible? Oh, I cannot stop shivering with curiosity. <laughs> we'll know soon enough, I hope. All right, hunters! Fight hard, stay smart, and get back home safely. Hey, you! 
Welcome back. I've been waiting. You were amazing. The elemental shift, the roll of its horns. Did you see it? Was it truly an organ for controlling the elements? Hypothetically, the horns allowed it to control the elements, no? Or perhaps the horns were born out of necessity. And what is the source of its elemental power? If not a physical mechanism, is it something beyond the realm of our understanding? I understand you're exhausted, but please come with me. We have much to discuss. We need your thoughts on Alatreon while they're still fresh in your head, Hunter. Fresh thoughts deserve a fresh transcript, no? Hurry along now. Once everything's recorded, we shall hold counsel. I can't believe you people! Amazing work with Alatreon! It's amazing that our scholars and handlers were able to get everything recorded so quickly. You have the hunters to thank for that. Everyone in the field and at home were running like a well-oiled machine. The unique characteristics of Alatreon, far beyond common knowledge, to be able to observe it to this degree is nothing short of a miracle. Considering this was just the first batch of data, it is exquisite. Let's end the chapter here, so to speak, and send this off to the guild. Any objections? Well, I do have a proposal for you, actually, about future investigations. We need to figure out why Alatreon went to the secluded valley in the first place. Why would it go to such a remote place intentionally? Was it just by chance, or did it have a purpose? That's right. The secluded valley is also home to that red monster. I find it hard to believe that it went to pick a fight. There's got to be a reason. Right. Which is why I think we should look into the connection between Alatreon and that red monster. And let the guild know we're going to continue investigating. Of course, it may be a long while before we uncover anything. Hmm. Okay. Your idea sounds good. Get everything ready. Way ahead of you. I'm almost finished. Then I shall take the responsibility of reporting to the Guild. I'll let them know of both our findings and future plans. Understood. Thank you. Ah, that leaves one more thing left unattended. I hope we were able to get rid of that annoying fear of the unknown. Yes, but there's still much we've yet to uncover. We're just getting started. The path is long, but we'll get there. Well, you're right about that. Now let's wrap things up, people. Again, fantastic work. Rest up today. You earned it. Dismissed. Hey, how's Hans? You know, I don't think I ever told you before, but once I get through some work I have on my plate, I was thinking about heading back to the old world for a bit. The field team leader said he wanted to come with me too, but with the way things are going now, it's gonna be a while before we head back. Huh? Why can't I go back soon? <laughs> Did no one clue you in yet? <sighs> Got to lock it all. I just remembered. I was supposed to clue you in. The field team leader wanted me to find you. He said he needed you. Come on, let's go and see what he wants. Everyone here? Good, let's get started. We have two things on the agenda today. First, we received a report from our scouts, and we've got trouble brewing. An Alatreon has been spotted again in the secluded valley. Again? It's back already? How? To be honest, the scouts also had their doubts. If 
we don't get rid of that thing quickly, it's going to cut a huge swath of destruction across the new world. You already have a special assignment prepped. Once you're ready to go, depart for the secluded valley. What's going on? Why does this keep happening? First we had that red dragon show up, and then an Alatreon right after. These kind of events are too big to be a coincidence. The new world and our hometowns are just part of a bigger ecosystem. Let's hope nothing on this scale is happening over there. Yeah, this is all very worrying. So what's the other thing you had to discuss? Ah, right. My grandfather had to return to the old world for a bit. Huh? Why? What happened? No idea. I just heard he was summoned by the guild to return immediately. That's... some kind of timing. I understand that you're all worried, but the only thing we can do until he returns is to get rid of that Alatreon. Understood? Yes, yes sir! sir. Was it back so quickly? Something bad's happening.
report. Gargwas some work, dude. The field team leader's waiting. Let's check in. Good work taking care of Alatreon. I knew I could count on everyone. I've never experienced such power before. I hate to think what had happened if something like that showed up in the old world. Chief, I think we should warn the guild about the growing number of incidents when we send off our next report. The Guild collects intel on monster behavior in each region, but they also gather disaster reports. We can send them what we have so they can prepare for a worst-case scenario. You've got a point. Make the necessary preparations. Understood. Oh, before I forget. Seems like the Commander has returned to Astera. Really? He's back already? Hey, I got an idea. How about when you report in on the Alatreon investigation, you pester him until he spills the beans on why the guild summoned him. Good idea, huh? <laughs> Do we really need to get in his business? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you the papers. Speak to the commander when you're ready. Greetings, Hunter. I just looked over the report on the Alatreon investigation. We'll be sending this off to the Guild immediately. As always, splendid work. Hmm. I see. I suppose it does make sense that the Guild summoning me would cause gossip to spread. This is probably as good a time as any to let you know what's happening. The truth is, large-scale joint operation between various countries and organizations has been in the works for some time. 
The research commission has been requested to join the operation. They believe our expertise with unidentified life and ecologies and our outstanding record in the field will be an asset. Let's prove them right. Now then, we have a guest here in Astera that will detail the operation. Representatives from each unit will be in attendance. Of course, we'll need you there too. Come. Is everyone here? Good. Then let us begin, Council. As I told everyone, an international joint operation is currently in the works. The Research Commission has been requested to join the operation. Our guest will provide us with the details. Thank you, Commander. I'm in charge of this joint operation, and I hope to get to know each of you soon. Hmm? You? You're with the Commission. General! It's an honor to see you again. <laughs> Never expected to see a familiar face in the new world. <clears throat> My apologies. We'll have to make some time to talk later. Now, let's get down to the heart of the matter. Several rare phenomena have occurred in various parts of the world, and we've also received reports from our special disaster unit. Small intermittent quakes, forest fires breaking out so frequently that there is enough smoke to blot out the sun. Endemic life and monsters alike are disappearing, and even the Elder Dragons are becoming more scarce. No one has any theories. However, we located in our records one past occasion when all these current events did happen. Just one. Let me ask, have any of you heard of Shrade before? Yes! The glorious country of Shrade! I remember reading it was a powerful nation that suddenly disappeared ages ago. No one knows what happened to it, and the region of Shrade is off-limits to everyone, from what I've heard. You're well-read, I see. Then you must know of the legends they speak of Shrade. Yes, the story of Shrade's demise. An incredible monster burned the country down to the ground in a single night. But why are you bringing this up now? Records of Shrade are scant, but they do exist in various forms, such as diplomatic documents or personal diaries. Around the time when Shrade was destroyed, we discovered several passages from one article. Earthquakes, forests burning, birds and monsters gone, no sun, elder dragons disappearing. Then several months later, Shrade disappeared. <laughs> no way, that, that can't be right. I understand that catastrophic Elder Dragons have appeared in the New World. It was no coincidence. This is inevitable. Everything is happening again. And it heralds the return of the one that obliterated Shrade. The Black Dragon Fatalis. A nightmare that lives only in legend. Guild and every country have declared that Fatalis will appear in Castle Strait again, and have called for its extermination. Our assignment will be to prepare for its eventual appearance and slay the beast. When is it expected to show up in Castle Strait? We cannot say for certain, but if we take the records we found at face value, we have a few months before it shows up. Do we know its current location? No. We have no information on that. Nothing to tell us where it's coming from, or where it's going. Information is so scarce that it's more accurate to call this the Fatalis event. Is it even possible to take it down? If we don't, everything will perish. What we can do now is alert every participating nation and prepare ourselves. Research Commission will need to mobilize quickly. The General and I will depart first, ahead of our main force. We'll do our best to get a grasp of the situation. 
We'd like to request that you hunters accompany us. Yes, sir. Later, we'll gather the entire commission and explain what's going on. For now, we want you to get yourselves ready. I shall guide us to Castle Strait. This will be a long struggle, but I know we'll make it through this. All right, that brings council to an end. Dismissed.
You're all prepped. Gotcha. This here? <laughs> ah, uh, excuse me. Okay. Thought we'd be going back home, especially like this. Ah, so nervous? Leave you me, I get it. <laughs> but my new friend and I will give you all the support you could ask for. Nothing's gonna happen to you while I'm around. <laughs> huh? What the? Okay, we know you're awesome, but I want to know what he thinks. Ah. Yeah, me too. Hunters, your attention. <laughs> this is the layout of Castle Shrade. Weapons from its last stand are still on site. The cannons are here. Here, the ballistae. Hopefully we can find workable binders to use. You can see railing here. That means there may be a roaming ballista. And finally, a Dragonator. It'll be our ace in the hole. The mechanism is dated, so we'll need to manually fire the weapon. Finally, we have a barricade here. That barricade will need to be triggered manually as well. This is where the lever is. We'll need it in case of emergency. That's all. Carve this information into your brain. Yes, sir. Fatalis, Castle Shrade? This still feels like a dream. I know it's cliche, but it's like we're in one of those bedtime stories our parents told us. I know what you mean. The legend of Fatalis has been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Many believed that the story of Fatalis and Castle Shrade was just a fable created after the fact. I never thought those legends would turn out to be true. The word Fatalis was never meant as a moniker for an actual beast. No, it was a word to describe an existence of some kind. But over time, seems to become known as the name of the monster. So what we're up against isn't a monster. It's actually history. Hmm. We're arriving soon. Steal yourselves. <laughs> something. Mm. It really exists. It wasn't just a legend. Oh, amazing. I... I don't know how to put it, but it's like somehow the past and the present meet up right at this point. However, that wasn't in the blueprints. It's blocking the Dragonator. But then, we can't reach the Ballista or Barricade either. Was it just slapped together? They fought back Fatalis and then propped it up? I see. So that means in the end, they didn't have time to use their Dragonator. They realized all was lost, and abandoned the offensive. No. They most likely used it. They knew the stakes, they battled hard. The 
defended their home, but were ultimately outmatched. They fought until the bitter end. If they just gave up, absolutely nothing would have remained once Fatalis was finished. Hmm. It was not my place to judge them. So then, what should we do? With that in the way, we can't use the Dragonator. Mm. Let's tear it down. <laughs> Bring people in now. Our forces? I heard they're arriving shortly, sir. Good. They're quick. Once we rendezvous with them, we should have enough manpower. Don't forget about us. Since we brought the wing drakes, we decided to establish a camp up there. We'll need to update the maps, too. <sighs> What's wrong? force is arriving soon, right? Correct. Your odds? In my favor as always. We'll buy everyone some time to escape. No! This is madness! Retreat now! We can't have any missteps. Go get it done, then. Yes, sir. To the camp! Hurry! <laughs> Underestimating those two hunters was your biggest misstep. Believe me, I know all too well. General.
retreating? What about the Dragonator? I'll confirm now. We'll signal when ready. It's the Commission! They're finally here! Hmm. Those two hunters managed to buy us enough time. Now we have a glimmer of hope. We can't let it die! No time to waste! Hurry! Yes, yes sir! sir. be like him. Hey, guys! <sighs> Two things. First, the roaming ballista in the barricade can now be used. The Dragonator's being prepped. When the time comes, make use of them. Second, the main group is here. We can now call for help. <laughs> I'll take care of him. This thing is a reality, partner. That just means I know you can kill it. to see you. Have you already recovered from your battle with Fatalis? Hmm. <laughs> you have the grit of a true hunter. We have a visitor. Just arrived. Come with me. It's been a while since we've done this. Is everyone in good health? 
How are you feeling, kid? Couldn't be better. I'm happy that you're in high spirits. I'm actually surprised you made another trip to the New World. He wanted to observe how the Commission works. As such, he'll only be here for a short period. Yes. I found your Slinger technology fascinating. The work put into developing it is amazing, to say the least. I have high praise for the Commission's flexible hierarchy, too. It allowed you to adapt on the fly to any situation. If we didn't have you as the foundation of this joint operation, slaying Fatalis might have been a fool's errand. You have shown me not only how excellent your hunting prowess is, but how well you support each other. Once again, I must commend you all on a job well done. Thank you, sir. By the way, Aiden, I believe tales of your efforts have reached someone you know. He heard about how you were wounded when you protected your teammate. He was quite a mess after he heard about that. His face turned red with anger, as if you were in front of him. You have a good master. Uh, really? It's good to hear that he hasn't changed. Sir, if you cross paths with my master Julius again, could you relay a message for me? Tell him I kept my promise. There's someone I want him to meet, so we'll be home soon. And I will return. He can count on that. Understood. <laughs> well then, shall we proceed with the observation? I'd like to take on a quest, actually, if that's fine with everyone. What? Um, well, <clears throat> we could start off with a gathering quest. You'll also need a tutorial on how to use the Clutch Claw. <laughs> I'm at your disposal. Well then, I'll leave you to tend to our guest. Show him everything the New World has to offer. Yes, sir! Hunter, once again, thank you for a job well done. After you slayed Vitalis, so much paperwork to fill out, everyone returned home. But no one has been able to catch their breath. You know, I never asked, but where are you from, anyway? Nah, never mind. I was curious, but it's none of my business. You coming to the New World is more than I could have ever asked for. Also, the General asked me to present this to you. I do wonder how you kept your nerves when Fatalis made its early entrance. Even I thought we were gonna die out 